don't think any of us realised that it was going to be as successful as it was. Our initial thought had been that we were going to sell, you know, maybe 10,000 of these. Um, we sold 100,000 on the first day. People were so keen on the concept of a $25 computer, so they flew around the world. I think it's a wonderful life, you know. You, you get paid money to play with toys every day. It'd be fantastic once we start to see kids who've been programming with the Raspberry Pi since they've been eight years old. And we start to see them come out at the end of university and I can hire them. We've got something like over a hundred times as many as our wildest dreams into the hands of children. What's been really surprising to us is just the noise that Raspberry Pi has made has been enough to get applicant numbers up and get interest up. We actually now have more applicants to Cambridge to study computer science than we had at the height of the dot-com boom. We've had a, a, a strong and vibrant community for longer than we've had a product. One of the reasons why RS has been successful as a partner is that there is a big overlap between their community and our community. Back in 2011, when we first started talking about this, it was here nine months, so really what we were was a forum of people talking about how excited they were about getting a Raspberry Pi. We're very dependent on the community to make suggestions as to what they'd like to see in the platform and to develop content around the platform. It's just really cool to see that people have taken this toy that we've built um, and found ways to use it to do things that certainly I would never have imagined. My favourite projects involving Raspberry Pi are the ones that involve space. Dave Ackerman's High Altitude Balloon. I think the Superman one, which had some RS involvement, where they dropped a model of Superman out of a, out of a capsule at a very high altitude. One of the things that's wonderful about Raspberry Pi 2 is that we've got six times the, the processing power of Raspberry Pi 1, we've got twice the memory, uh, we've got complete compatibility between Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 1. And we know it's good, we know it's fast, and we know it's going to work. A lot of people here have put a lot of effort into, into making this really, I, I think, pretty much the best, the best product that we could, we could possibly manage. FDR said, bold and persistent experimentation about you know, trying to fix the Great Depression. We have this amazingly talented team here at Raspberry Pi. We're going to do some bold and persistent experimentation this year. I'm Eben Upton, I'm an engineer, and I'm one of the founders of Raspberry Pi.